David says it this way in verse 4. He says, return to me, O Lord, and what? Rescue me. Like, this is who God is. He, it's not that he can't, he, it's not, he doesn't, he's not waiting to punish you. He's not waiting to stick you in time out. No, he's waiting to rescue you. He says, save me because of what? Say this with me, because of your unfailing love. The heart of God is love. He loves you. He loves you. He loves me. That's the whole point of Jesus coming. Out of love, Jesus came on a rescue mission to rescue you and I from the injustice, from the betrayal, from the lies, from the deceit that is placed upon us and that those things we do to one another. He is a forgiving and he is a loving God. The Apostle Paul in the book of Romans, he he said it this way, God showed his what? His great love for us. Come on, turn to somebody wherever you are and tell them, man, God really loves you. God really loves you. God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Remember, he doesn't wait to love you until you get cleaned up or until you're a good boy or a good girl. Maybe you have that perception from your childhood or some whacked out thing that you just think, well, once I'm good, once I do things right, then God will love me. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. God's love is unconditional. He loves you in your mess. He loves you in your sin. Now, we don't love people that way. But God says, I love every person regardless because his love is unfailing and it is unconditional. And I want you to think of it this way. It, It was on the cross. When you think of Jesus on that cross, some people say that God's wrath was poured out on, on, on Jesus and, and he can't wait to throw out his wrath on all humanity. I don't believe that. I don't believe that's true at all. I believe in that moment that when Jesus was on that cross, he was holding back the anger and wrath of God that all of us really deserve for the things that have been done in humanity. But Jesus held that back, and Scripture tells us that he actually took it upon himself, took the sin and and the shame of all of us upon himself. And instead of God pouring out wrath, instead of God pouring out anger through Jesus, the picture I want you to have today when you think of the cross is through Jesus he poured out unfailing love to you and me, compassion and mercy and grace. 